on October 4, 2023, Pope Francis transcended ecclesiastical boundaries with his apostolic exhortation Laudate Devum, infusing the sacred into the urgent discourse on climate change. In a groundbreaking fusion of faith and environmental stewardship, the pontiff extends a clarion call to protect our common home, Earth. As Pope Francis intricately weaves spiritual and ecological threats, Laudate Deum emerges as a guidepost challenging believers and global citizens alike to harmonize their reverence for God with a profound commitment to safeguarding the planet. Join us, the Trinitarians in India, during this Advent season as we unpack the profound messages woven into this magnum opus for a meaningful preparation and celebration of Christmas. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ's love, as we gather in anticipation of the Advent season and the joyous celebration of Christmas, let us embark on a reflective journey inspired by the profound words from Laudate Devu, an apostolic exhortation by Pope Francis published on October 4, 2023. In the first paragraph of Laudate Devu, Pope Francis emphasizes particularly the timeless message of Saint Francis of Assisi, which is, Praise God for all his creatures. Saint Francis a beacon of compassion and humility resonates through the ages as a voice that echoes the sentiments found in the Psalms and mirrors the compassionate perspective of Jesus towards all God's creations. His life, canticles and actions serve as a testament to the interconnectedness of spirituality and our relationship with the nature world. In the passage, we are drawn to the tenderness of Jesus as he implores us to consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. These words began us to marvel at the divine beauty inherent in the simplicity and elegance of the natural world. They challenge us to shift our focus from the hostile of our daily lives and recognize the sacred presence that permeates every aspect of creation. In a world often scared by exploitation, environmental degradation and a growing detachment from the natural world, the call to praise God for all His creatures becomes more relevant than ever. It urges us to foster a deep sense of gratitude humility and responsibility towards the earth and its inhabitants. As we ponder upon this passage, let us consider how our lives, actions and attitude align with the call to praise God for all His creatures. It prompts us to examine our ecological consciousness, urging us to adopt a perspective that honors the sacredness of the earth and all its inhabitants. St. Francis's example challenges us to live in harmony with creation, recognizing that our spiritual journey is intricately woven into the flourishing of the natural world around us. So my dear brothers and sisters, in this season of Advent and Christmas, let us embrace the teaching of Saint Francis, finding inspiration to his call to praise God for all his creatures. May we, like him, become agents of compassion, custodians of all creation, and bearers of divine love that extends to every corner of the earth. We prepare for the celebration of Christ's birth. Let our hearts be filled with gratitude for the precious gift of creation and a renewed commitment to cherish and protect it. May the spirit of St. Francis guide us in this reflective journey, and may our actions be a testament to the enduring message of praising God for all His creatures. May this Advent season be a time of profound spiritual awakening and transformative connection with the natural world. Amen.